Today I'm gonna try making lotion out of my breast milk. It's Tiffy tries, cause Tiffy likes to try things. No, no, I, I get it. This might sound a little bit out there, but hear me out. It all started with a TikTok that my dad actually sent me. It showed breast milk underneath a telescope and I was just so amazed at how pure and beautiful it looked. After I had my, my baby, my sweet baby Leo, and started breastfeeding, I actually found out that breast milk has a lot of healing properties. And if you guys saw, I actually healed up, I think it was eczema, I don't know what it was. It was dry red skin right here and I literally put breast milk on it and it healed it within three days. So then someone left a comment on that video saying I should try making some lotion. And I went down the rabbit hole. I found a couple recipes on how to make lotion out of your breast milk and I also found a couple recipes on how to make cheese. Now I have no experience making cheese, but I do love to eat cheese. So let me know if you wanna see me attempt to make cheese out of my breast milk in another video. But today we are making some lotion. Now lotion I know a thing or two about. I am a huge lotion fiend if you didn't know that about me. I moisturize every single day and have been since I was like, I wanna say in like sixth grade. That's why my skin is so soft. But now as I'm older, I'm trying to be more conscious about what types of lotions and beauty products I use on my skin. You know, I'm going for that all natural kind of feel. The least amount of chemicals and parabens and all that stuff. So when I saw the comment on how I should try to make some lotion, I 100% knew I was gonna do this and I already had all of the ingredients to make lotion. How convenient. Now I decided to go with a simpler recipe because this is my first time attempting it. So all that we're gonna need for today is grapeseed oil, beeswax, vitamin E oil, and don't judge my vitamin E oil bottle. It has gotten some good use. And essential oil, I am just gonna be using some orange essential oil and I'm also going to be adding some of this bad boy calendula oil. This oil is really good for your skin and I actually have a lotion that I use for my baby that has calendula oil in it too, so we're just gonna try it out. And I almost forgot the key ingredient. Hold on one second. Breast milk. The liquid gold. Now besides nourishing your baby, it contains so many vitamins, enzymes, things that help fight bacteria and viruses, and it is just literally liquid gold. I had no idea that breast milk was this amazing until I started producing it myself and actually really caring about it. But it is liquid gold for a reason, so let's go ahead and get into this recipe and make some lotion. Half a cup of grapeseed oil. It's gonna take a while. There we go. And a teaspoon of beeswax. It says to melt this over medium heat, but I'm gonna use my ghetto double broiler. It's resourceful. Melt the beeswax. Okay, the beeswax is pretty much melted. I'm gonna take it off. Okay. Now I'm gonna add five drops of the vitamin E. One, two, three, four, five. Now we gotta let it cool. So now that it's starting to cool, we can add four ounces of milk. I'm gonna add it slowly, and we're gonna use my new immersion blender. <laughs> but I'm gonna whisk it for the biscuit. Woo! Look at her go. A little bit of milk. Oh, that looks cool. Whisk it. Ooh. That's cool. Whoa. It's cooling. We want it to be nice and fluffy. I need a bigger bowl. <laughs> this looks so creamy, oh my gosh. Three drops of essential oil, one 
one, two, three, four. And a little bit of calendula. I don't know how much to put in. One, two, oh, that's more than drops. Oops. So fluffy. I really don't know how long I'm supposed to do this for. I guess until I like the consistency, it's pretty watery. Maybe it'll dry? What? All right. I'm gonna put this into my bowl before it actually dries. So let's get it into my container. Oh, it smells good. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. My container's too small. Oh no. I have a glass drawer. i just put the rest of it in. It's starting to thicken. Yeah. This is really cool. I think the rest of it that's in the bowl, I have to try it out right now on my skin. I've never tried fresh lotion on my skin and I cannot believe I've never made lotion before, so. Oh, it's still a little warm. Let's see if it actually rubs in. Ooh, that's very like, very thick. It's very thick and then it's like, it gets watery the more you rub it in. This is my breast milk, look. This is more of like a, like a summer lotion because it's not super thick. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's very lightweight. This is amazing. <laughs> it is so, my skin looks so smooth and so plump. Stop. It smells a little milky. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna smell. It doesn't smell once it's like rubbed in. I didn't put lotion on today, so. This is amazing, this is insane. My skin already looks like so much smoother. Don't mind me while I put this all over my body. <laughs> I'm not even lying, like this is so moisturizing. I mean, a lot of it has to do with the grapeseed oil, but the majority of the recipe is my breast milk, which is crazy to say. I'm putting it everywhere. Hey, babe? Yes. Do you want to try my lotion? Made with love? Sure. Come on in. I want you to try this lotion. Tell me how it makes your skin feel. Okay. Mm. It feels, it feels like it's literally seeping into my skin and moisturizing, hydrating my skin. Right? It feels like your skin is like. Yeah, it's crazy. Usually I put lotion on. It doesn't feel that way right away. This is my milk. This is your milk. This and is my milk. This is your milk. That's insane. You're putting your breast milk on. Me. <laughs> How does that feel? How does it feel for you? Because. It feels great. Did you ever think that your <laughs> wife would. No. What One day be rubbing breast, her breast milk on your body? Seriously. Oh wow, that feels great. Right? What the heck? Like it'll seep, it'll it'll absorb. Yeah. And like it's so soft. I Dude, can't. Dude, that's insane. I can't get over it. I can't stop touching myself. That sounded horrible. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop touching myself. <laughs> I can't stop touching myself. No, no. Honestly, this is this feels really nice. What the heck? Right? Who'd have thought? How do you look this stuff? I got a whole... How do people discover this? Amazing. Liquid gold, liquid gold, baby. I love it, baby. Thank you for sharing your liquid gold. Here, put some more on your body. Put, put some on your ashy knees. I'm gonna, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am impressed. I am, I got a whole, you know, little jar full and then some. So I will report back once I use the whole thing, but I'm already, it just, it feels so soft, it's so nice. So I am gonna store this in the fridge because it doesn't have any preservatives. And since it has the milk, I don't know how long it lasts. The website says it lasts for three months, but I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. I did it. 
I made lotion out of my breast milk. It does feel a little sticky on my hand. This is more of like a night lotion. You don't wanna use this before you go out in the day because it does have a little bit of like a sticky-ish feeling to it. This is like more like I wanna moisturize, deep moisturize my body at night or you know before you're gonna take a shower. My skin looks amazing though. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Tiffy Tries. There are some other recipes that I do want to check out, so let me know if you want me to make those. There are actual like bars that you put in the freezer for lotion. Uh, so I don't know, maybe in the future, leave a comment down below if you want me to try something else with my breast milk. Maybe you guys can find some recipes for me. I don't know though, the cheese, still on my mind. Check out some more videos here on the channel. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.